Hi guys, thanks for joining me for the part 2 video of my Get Ready With Me beauty tutorial video. So the first video I covered uh, straightening my hair and in this video I'm going to do my makeup for you guys. So um, in the previous video I already used these um, Pons uh, makeup for moon wipes which you can get anywhere really um, to remove the residual makeup off my eyes as much as I could. I don't think anyone can really get it all off. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and tuck my hair behind my ears and take an alligator clip and pin, pin back uh, my bangs. So the foundation that I'm actually going to use is the Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam um, right here. Um, so this is a very inexpensive product. Um, I have an airbrush makeup kit, but when I uh, can't take that with me and I go places, I just use the air foam, um, which I like because um, this sounds bad, but it kind of gives my skin like um, more like pink tone, um, and I like that because I'm very pale, and I don't know why. So the first thing we're going to start with is the foundation, so I'm just going to go and it just turns into like some shaving creamness, so I just... Um, just kind of pinch some of the product and then just kind of start um, applying it across my face. So I'm not using any expensive brush. <laughs> I'm not using any expensive brushes or um, really products. I do have one expensive product, but this video, um, is made for people who are on a budget because the economy is obviously very tough and people don't have a lot of money to spend on makeup and then, um, there's a lot of people, people like me, who just think, expensive makeup is bullshit and the whole thing's overpriced and that's a scam. So I just use this stuff which is um good priced and a good product I think. And I'm sure they'll like, you know, the makeup people on YouTube would love to argue with me. Um as I'm kind of speaking heresy against makeup. So now that I've um, just kind of applied it everywhere to my face. Um, sorry, I do have to look in my mirror. Um, I just kind of see if there's any areas that need extra attention. And I'm actually going to take a very small bit of product. And I'm going to try to get um, my eyelids. Because they... Uh, I don't know. I think they look weird without makeup. And, you know, I have a primer, but I'll put that on it. Oh my god, I got some in my eye. Oh, put way too much on. Okay. Okay. So, now that I have the foundation applied, um, you can see it does change my skin color. Um, and I look very dark, and um, that's kind of weird. Um, I think the, the webcam actually accentuates the color and makes it um, a lot different. Um, I don't know. Okay, so we've covered the foundation, um, and now we are going to move on 
to the eyes, which in when I get ready, um, normally I don't use blush actually. Um, I have it in my airbrush makeup kit, but I don't know. I, I don't really like the way blush looks in pictures. Um, so now I'm going to take this, um, this is a pretty overpriced product from Sephora. It's, um, I wonder if this will focus. Okay, well, it's not focusing. This is an Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer po Potion. Um, so I'm just going to take a very small... I'm sorry, it's not focusing, guys. Um, just a very small amount. And I'm going to... Generously coat um, my lid, the corner of my eye, and under the eye where the eyeliner will go. And then I'm going to do the same for the other eye. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got some in my eye. Um. Okay, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Um, mm. let me just just turn it on. This is great, right? Like showing you a tutorial on how to hurt yourself. So I'm just gonna take the uh, Pond's makeup wipe. And just kind of get that excess off that um, is in my fucking eye. Okay. Um, that's intense. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now, after um, that incident, I'm going to take my eyeliner, which is also from Sephora. It is the Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof um, Raven eyeliner and the thing about the always sharp is it's always sharp because this um, cap actually is a sharpener so every time I um, twist it on and off it sharpens it so every time I go to put my eyeliner on I have a beautiful sharp um, pinpointed eyeliner. Um, I use black always for everything. Um, there are lots of different makeup um, tips that people will tell you about how to make your eyes look bigger or don't use black and um, I really love the way black eyeliner looks um, and I'm always going to use it. So, so I'm just going to take this and when you apply eyeliner the hardest part um, is going to be training your eye not to like blink hysterically uh, when you put it on. So that was a big challenge with makeup um, for everyone, no matter what gender you are. Um, when you apply eyeliner for the first time, it feels really unnatural and uncomfortable and you're going to blink hysterically, but you just got to keep going. So um, I'm going to apply it, this little, this little line you see. Um, I'm going to apply it right under that, right under the waterline. So I'm going to be applying the eyeliner above my eyelashes, not below them. Um, when you apply them below them, it looks very um, stripy and uh, a little bit older. Um, my mom and my grandma, they all apply 
the eyeliner at the eyelash level or below it. And I think it uh, looks very old school. It's going to be nice. So I'm going to apply it um, below the waterline, above the lashes. Um, so it's like a little kind of sweet spot. So let's go ahead and try to make this visible for you guys. Okay. Um, let's start with this eye. So you want to do uh, short strokes. And you basically want to play connect the dots uh, with the eyeliner. So the dots being your eyelashes. So you just got to connect them with the eyeliner. And lots of short strokes. And then you just want to make sure that it's um, filled in completely on uh, both sides. So now I'm going to move on to the other side. And yeah, I have to, for some reason, keep my mouth open when I do this. So I actually um, apply it pretty heavy, and then I go back with the Pond's uh, Makeup Wipe, and I take this line, and I will kind of trim it up. Um, and make it look sharp and neat because right now uh kind of raccoon eye right now so um before i whew, before i rewipe um with the pons i'm going to move on to my eyeshadow so what i'm gonna do um the eyeshadow is I'm actually going to be really simple and only use the um, white eyeshadow. So this is the this is a very basic um, eyeshadow palette that I, I think I got for a Christmas one year. Um, it's nothing special. Um, just I think buy whatever palette you can afford and. Mm. Um, this was probably like a, a few dollars and I use it every day, so it works. Um, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it just on the lid, so just right here. I'm not putting it up here or doing anything fancy, just right on the lid, okay? So I'm using um, white because I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and that's the only reason. I, it, I've heard that it will um, make your eyes look bigger. I don't know. Um, so I'm actually, when I do this, I'm actually, this thing is very bent. Uh, I take it and I'm going to brush it into the corner of my eye like this to give it um, a little, this little pop of white, which looks really cool in the line and it kind of sparkles um, a certain line and you just see this beautiful tint. So I'm just going to do the same over here. So the white, since my skin my skin tone is very uh, light, I need a lot of the white to show up. So I have to use a lot of powder. Okay. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to finish off with some mascara. 
So this is also from Sephora. I absolutely, um, absolutely hate uh, this mascara. So this is just some uh, Sephora brand uh, mascara. And for those of you who don't know, um, Sephora is a makeup store that is primarily in malls. Um, and they sell lots of makeup at different prices, but generally um, it's all pretty overpriced. Um, and this is overpriced. I'm sure it was like $16. Um, and I hate it so much. So, um, I'm just going to apply this. So, the bottom lashes. Be really careful. Oh my god, my nose from crying earlier. Um, so be very careful and delicate with the bottom lashes. And if you make a mistake um, and get it on any part of your skin, don't freak out. Because this is the reason we have the Pond's Wipes. And I actually, like I said, use the Pond's Wipes as a tool. So I kind of over apply a little bit and then see I just got it all over my lid mistakes are just a part of learning and then once you learn um, you're still gonna make them I've been doing the same makeup routine for years and I still get the mascara on my Self from time to time. Okay, <clears throat> so I wish that I had better lighting. Um, I picked this room because it was the brightest room in my mother's house, um, but I'm concerned that there's not enough light. So I'm gonna just go ahead um, and let you guys see. Um, so yeah, I got it there. Oh my god, excuse me. I uh, got that there. So that's what the eyeliner, the eyeshadow, and the mascara looks like. Better. Um, so now I'm going to take, almost done, um, I'm going to take the Pam's White. Maybe the next thing I should buy is a lighting system to go with this awesome camera. I think I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to um, when you're doing touch-ups, you don't want to rub all of the foundation off, so be really careful and just kind of lightly touch however the mistake was. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, my nose. Oh, gosh. When I got that, um, primer in my eye, it just caused my eyes to run and my nose to run. So, without removing all of the, the eyeliner and the mascara, I'm just going lightly under, and I'm trying to touch up the, the line where the eyeliner and the mascara are, because I want, when I do my makeup, I want it to be very, um, I want the makeup to be very sharp. So this is all stuff that I've taken off my eyes without removing all of the makeup because like I said, I'm just trying to touch up and make these lines as sharp as possible. Okay, so the touch up is complete and my eyes are complete. So the last thing that I'm going to do is apply my um, New York Color Liquid Lip Shine. Um, I like to use this very 
bright pink. It's not really, I don't know. Um, it's kind of a, it's kind of showing up orange. Um, and I'm just gonna apply it to the bottom lip generous, generously. And then smear. And then just take my finger and go around the outline of my lip just to get anything that might be strayed. Now I'm going to uh, release my hair from its prison. very uncomfortable. Okay, and if I had some hairspray, all I would do to finish off would be just a spray, get down um, the flyaways, and then just kind of puff up my hair a little bit. And I am ready for my scalp date. So, um, I want to thank you guys for joining me on this um, get ready with me makeup tutorial video. Let me just get the, the flashlight on so you guys can kind of just see um, the whole look. So, of the weirdest um, worst makeup tutorial but um so yeah that's how I get ready that is my makeup tutorial for uh, my date and that's pretty much how I get ready every single day um, so I just do the hair the makeup I walk out the door ready so thank you guys so much for joining um, I really hope you like all the new videos and I'm very excited about this new webcam and then like I mentioned in the previous hair video in case you weren't there for that um, I plan to do um, I know for sure my mom was going to be doing at least one video on my channel about the parents perspective of all of this I'm hoping to get my boyfriend to do the boyfriend tag video with me because I think that would be really fun and then um yeah, so that's all the plans that I have right now. Thank you guys for joining me. Good luck in your um, your transitions, and I love all of you. Thank you so much for the continued support.